first that comes to mind is cash transfer system utilizing a trustless distributed network. Uh, the fact that this network is trustless means that there's no central authority in uh, the Bitcoin network that approves transactions. Rather, it is widely distributed uh, on an immutable uh, public ledger. This means that there are no banks that are serving as central trusted authorities for sending payment from party A to party B. Currently, the US dollar is the world's global reserve currency. And it is the global reserve currency, not because the United States says it's the world's reserve currency. It's the global reserve currency because it's the currency in which large purchases of internationally traded commodities are denominated in. So if we lived in Brazil and we wanted to buy a tanker full of oil from Iraq, we would pay with US dollars. And what we would have to do is first we would buy US dollars and then we would take those US dollars and deliver them to the person that was selling that tanker full of oil to us. Because of the fact, and then they would have the US dollars and we would have the oil in Brazil. Because of the fact that the US dollar has stability behind it, the sellers of the oil want US dollars as opposed to Brazilian currency. We are right on the precipice, in my opinion, of seeing that dynamic shift. Global reserve currencies can and have changed. In the 1970s, uh, the pound was the world's reserve currency uh, until it became the US dollar. And when that happened, the pound fell by 20%. The US dollar will stop being the world's reserve currency as soon as the person selling a tanker full of oil for $30 million would be just as happy to take Bitcoin as they were to take US dollars.